ice cream trucks replaying their theme song. Sipping on ice cold beer, lying on the ghetto grounds, looking up at the sky, dreaming of being a bird, finally learning how to fly. Finally, the bus started moving faster. I couldn't see a few people working in the street. Everybody had an umbrella, but I saw an old lady with a little kid who started playing in the water. They opened his arms and started jumping. I say to myself, this is why I'm talking about. All of a sudden, I had the thought, maybe in the worst moments of our misfortune, life is also afraid to crush us. Instead, it gives us a way to go and a chance to fight for ourselves. Does anyone understand? My life has been a tragedy from child to man. Nothing you could do or say can ever change me. Seeing it all in these, these streets that raised me. She was the education that ended for her when she was only 13 years old. She would never grow up to be a lawyer or a doctor or any of the things she might have become. She would go on to have many more children and much more sorrow. Back home, I cried more tears of my own for a sad little age dead guy. We were free like butterflies. In the sunny Bosnia, we stayed, drank and laughed and played. We were happy like angels in heaven. I saw desperate soldiers. They pulled me out of the cadavers. They said to me, poor girl. I was put on a truck, driving to nowhere. Maybe there would still be hope. I touched a record monument surface. I will never forget any words my daughter's faces become bitter. When we drove our car on Asphalt Street, in Brooklyn near this monument. We need to admire all the hills in our city. Though the smoke burned our eyes, the thought of the coconut bake that my grandmother was going to make made it all worth it. When the food was ready, we got cleaned up to eat. We would excitedly sit in front of the television and eat our hot coconut bake with cheese and hot cocoa. I said, we will celebrate your recovery by having a glass of champagne and going on a trip. I was the first person who saw her after surgery. I came with a pink flower in a pot. She smiled. The surgery was successful. She told me that she would be as bright as the pink flower. We had new passports and tickets for our travel. I moved to New York City from Japan almost a year ago. Although I was excited to go to a new world, I had an anxiety. My only concern was whether I could surf. Yes, I am addicted to surfing. Those moments when you went to the garden and could smell the pure air, the perfume of the flowers, and the fragrance of the eucalyptus trees. Those moments, you can hear the singing of the birds, the water flowing free on the land. In America, I live in Staten Island, and it is good for me because Staten Island makes me remember my town. At the night, I come out of my house and look at the moon and the stars, and remember my grandpa's stories. In every village, the car stops, and the passengers get off and get on. Whoever gets on greets everybody and asks about their families. The passengers love each other. It looks like they know each other, even if they don't. I told many hearing friends about my life. They learned about me, about my culture, and my language. I used sign language with my deaf friends, my brother, and my family. 
We are happy. That's deaf culture. Fundamental part of us, embodying complexity, turning us into perpetual travelers, probably for eternity. What's so worthy that needs to be concealed? Be our guest, thinking me. Now, I'm in another part of theirs, in the one of the biggest countries in the world. And I met a woman that I had already served in my small hometown. I don't know how it happened, but I know two things. The world is round and everything is possible in our lives. It was morning, I was sleeping. And I heard a strong song. Someone was calling help. I thought I was dreaming. Then my mom came to my room and said, get up, get up. Our neighborhood house is on fire. Let's go help them. We, the people, are the first three words of the preamble to the American Constitution. For me, those words mean that we are a family with the same goal, freedom. I wonder where can freedom be easily found? It can be found on a blank piece of paper. There, freedom does not have borders, only the margin. The power of writing our own stories is a political act and a special act of love. 